Hey guys, so today I want to do some internet spy testing here with the iPhone 4 with iOS 7.1, the final real deal, you know, if I, you know what I mean, my homeboy or whatever. Uh, so, uh, this one is having the lightest iOS 7.1, as I said, great stuff inside of this. But what about the speeds? What kind of speeds are you getting here? I mean, let's just uh, run this. And we're probably going to get some horrible speeds here. Because that's usually what you get. If you know what I mean. At least on, on my old iPhone. Let's see, 18 megabits. Huh. Hmm, 6 megabits up and 18 megabits download. Interesting. Uh, let's just run it one more time. It's 17 milliseconds, a little bit slower. On like an iPhone 5S, I get around 70 megabits in download and around half of that in, in upload. So also major difference here in in benchmark, it is, it is also a super, super massive difference. So that could definitely be good to know here. So once again here, we are getting a score of around 20 megabits downloaded and half in upload. And usually most of the times that's, that's what you do see uh, on, on these R phones. Let's just do run it once again. That download is twice of what you do see there. In uh, so if you get like 20 or 40 in download, it's usually it's like half in upload, like 20 megabits. And for each new iPhone, of course, the speeds are just getting improved because the radio and everything inside of the iPhone is is being improved. But overall, I would say also I I want to remember people that 80 megabits download is still super super good. Uh, when I was uploading YouTube videos to the internet, I, I did it at home with the connection that was only 10 megabits in upload and I uploaded a ton of videos and many times the speed were uh, around this speed here in upload so uh, even though it may look that bad, it, it's, it's really not that bad, it's still pretty good actually, uh, especially for an old device here from 2010, almost a four-year-old phone, so yeah, pretty awesome.